Hi. Okay. Gotta go. That was Vincent Van. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna give me a diamond watch. He says he has 12 guys this time. How did she... T- <laughs> this time. If if you heard that, would you go, is that more or less than usual? <laughs> okay, let's bring this up. I guess we're talking about the Osaka nightlife. Okay. Going to $1 beer night with Hitomi. And then going through three buildings worth of gays... <laughs> Was so much fucking fun. That was fun. And we got home later than usual, Man. wasn't hung over the next day, mm. and felt really good. Man. We also saw a dead rat. Oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That it just, it wasn't even, I thought he'd be fat from garbage. He was just a little baby rat. Oh, was he? Was it not a baby? Not was a baby. Was it a mouse or was it a rat? I mean, it was a, it was a teenager. Let's, <laughs> I was hoping he was just engorged in trash. That man, that boy kept puking twice, and sorry, yeah, perfectly puked into the uh, the sewer. I guess some girls thought they were like he, he was our friend. So we got water for him, and I was like, oh, thank you. I drank that water, and I was like, I kept that shit, and I wait. Did you? Yeah, it was so good the next morning, baby. I was like, damn. Oh, the girls from the Seven Eleven, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I didn't know you took the water. <laughs> no, we got water for him. I'm like, thank you. That's <laughs> Japanese kindness. <laughs> oh, I gotta look up. A... Oh, hold on. Not the Star Spangled Banner. Hold on. <laughs> I don't remember if I saved this photo or not. Oh, okay, I also got a uh, just a delightful picture with this gentleman. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Did you make that your profile pic? Oh, yeah. It kind of looks like that one, uh, character, anime character. Like, he's like a real small boy. He has, it's like a, I guess, a ghost or horror thing. Mm. Looks like Gene from, uh, Bleach. <laughs> only a little, um, only a little chunky. I, this I, I, guy. Japanese horror this, character. This gay man dressed as a woman <clears throat> was like, you're not allowed in. <laughs> it, it's full. I'm like, we'll just stand. No problem. And he's like, sorry, we're full. And then he was like, it's my birthday. And I'm like, can, can we come in to celebrate it? <laughs> no. And then... I only let that slide because I was like, okay, this must be... Uh... A special event. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he was drunk as hell. And dressed as a woman. Mm. <laughs> and then he, I was, I think you or me or someone was like, that was, is that a wig? And he's like, yes. And I'm like, well, I'm bald. Can I have your wig? <laughs> and he's like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> and gave me it and I got to wear it. And But after that, I was like, how much male grossness is on this wig? <laughs> how, uh, how, yeah. how many? This little boy on the left. Gege no Kitaro? Oh, you know him. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that's what you kind of look like. Only with... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I found my uncle's eyeball hanging out in my head. Oh, I thought you were talking about your real uncle. I was like, what happened? Here? No, no, no. In the anime, I think his uncle is an eyeball. I don't know anything about it. Look like the picture again. You I, I already exited that. Word. I already exited that earlier. Thank you, Chris. Oh, about the gay buildings. Oh, The okay. goal for that. Uh. Japan's so pure, they're being affected by the West. Here is three gay buildings. Yeah. I think we already did this joke before. I don't think so. Okay. Ah, oh, you're getting so influenced by the West. Here is three gay buildings with yeah. only Japanese people mm-hmm. in it. You will not be allowed in if you're foreigner. Well, you know, it's not. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. not foreign world. Right, right, right. And no foreigner has ever stumbled across it, probably. Mm. Okay, so now, you, maybe this was a, not last summer, but a few summers ago, there was the boba tea? The Korean uh, boba tea? Uh. You remember this? Wait, yeah, what? yeah, yeah, that was, yeah, that was a fad. Oh, turn back. What the fuck was that? Don't, it's a side quest, but don't, let me, just, tur- just turn the camera. Side quest. No, 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 stop, 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 go, turn the camera. To the left? Yeah, left, more, a little bit more, a little bit more, keep going, a little bit more, keep going, a little bit more. Yeah, those guys. <laughs> it looks like two John got me here. <laughs> How they doing? That's a woman, right? Nah, it's two guys. 
Bet you it's a woman. If I could <laughs> fucking move, that's a woman, bro. She's wearing a pantsuit. She's got a chichi haircut. Mm -hmm. And glasses? You're... Okay. Or, or Daisuke. Don't don't Chris, you talk to him! No! Oh, you did, though? Nah. Oh. Daisuke. If I can beat him up, though. Ah, let's click cool. it. Alright, go ahead. Go ahead. Wait, so what about gays? Oh, no, just the... Uh, oh, there's, <clears throat> there's a whole gay city. But who thinks that Japan's being changed by the West? Because I hear from Japanese people, oh, Japan's changing. I'm, I don't think so. And then I hear from foreigners, like the trashy boys. <laughs> oh, you know, Japan's tra like just it's a pride thing. They want to influence Japan, mm. but they're but they're not. That's so, <laughs> that's what's so funny. Japan doesn't give a shit. <laughs> they're their own. Oh, party. okay. I guess can't help. Oh shit! Wait, wait, wait I'm losing track. But oh, okay. Now they're coming off the the Bofa tea shops. Have you seen this bullshit? No. What is that? Both of these nuts in your mouth. <laughs> The funny thing is, <laughs> Sammy, we got him. <laughs> the funny thing is, I thought that's what you're gonna do, but since I'm playing the game, I can't. I can't think of every possible these nuts. But I, I was like, this is a quarter of the way to a these nuts jump, and I was like, both of sound strange, even for an Asian word. Yeah, but yeah, I'll I'll, I'll take that. You gonna take both these nuts? Yeah, in your yeah, mouth. yeah. I set you up. Right now. We got him, Sammy. We got him. Vince, hire me. I think neither of us are really feeling these nuts because neither we both have not touched them. They're okay, but I don't know. It's disappointing. He told me, "Give, give us some more snacks." <laughs> Wait, there's a whole bag full. I don't like any of those snacks. <laughs> They're all fucking dry, oh, snacky shit. I hate Asian snacks where they're they're like trying to prove that they're better than America. These are healthy. Every Asian snack that's like a dried bean <laughs> is shit. Yeah, well, in America, there's gummies that are. You guys have gummies too. <laughs> yeah, but uh, we but we have this cracker. We have crackers too. Eat a cracker. <laughs> What is this called? Duraido Japanese Cracker. Oh, then it's a fucking American snack. If it's called Cracker. <laughs> Did someone else throw a thing? It in looked it? like it, didn't it? Oh, there's, I guess, two guys here. Pop, 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 pop. On guard. Hey! Batter up! Okay, I saw this one. I was at work, and that's where I do most of my annoying internet shop. Not shameless shopping, but video shit. Oh, okay. So, you know, like the videos, like, I will never watch this on my own. On oh. my own free time, never. Yeah. But you're at work, you're like, well, I ain't doing shit. Yeah. I need to pass these hours somehow. Yeah. So there was one, like, uh, Japanese girl guesses who's not Japanese. And I was like, I don't, I don't, I don't want to. And I was like, well, you know, you always, that's what you always say, I don't want to. You're like, I gotta click it. I gotta click it. I'll delete my history later. <laughs> that, yeah, that's how that goes. <laughs> so it was like a, a, one Japanese woman. Very American style. Very Americanized. Who fucking cares? Which one of you is not an Italian? Ooh, mamma mia! <laughs> I love it in a spook out there! Right? No other, no other race does this that's shit. It. Guess who's not a Jamaican? <laughs> hey, man, it's me, Chris Sensei. Yeah. Mm. Can I see the next one? Let's rolly, rolly, and feel good, eh? <laughs> Can I see this one? Hello, my name is Ben. <laughs> what do you get out of that? Yeah, it's me. I'm actually not Japanese. Oh, what a great video. What do you get out of this? I don't know. So, yeah, okay. So, it was a Japanese bitch. She said she lived Amer very Americanized, very good English. So, she was bit. loud and annoying, I guess. <laughs> kind of, a little bit. I can sense it. I can sense she's a handful. We don't get much money from these fights. What the fuck's going on? That's well, a tough fight, too. Yeah, you give us we have dollars. we don't have Kiryu respect. Mm, they're like, just give this guy look at like, look at this bump. Just give him ten. He'll be he'll be happy. He'll be happy. Kiryu was like, you better give me I'm gonna need like five hundred dollars. 
You're like, okay, you can't do that. I was going to use this Apollo. <laughs> Where was I? Where? Go back. Where was the, I? Uh, the woman in the who's not Japanese. Okay, so but the thing, the twist was it was like, like maybe like, it was like maybe six people. Okay, there was one Japanese guy, and the rest were foreigners. Okay, well, or uh, or you know, foreign nationality. Okay, but everyone's Japanese was immaculate. Ah, okay. and I was actually impressed. I'm like, oh shit! Like these motherfuckers are really good. Like kind of depressingly good, like oh my god, like ah oh, shit, can I can I do that? Ah, <laughs> uh, that okay. What white, black, Asian, or the Asian people, uh, Indians? It was actually it was like maybe was like a, two white, one black, one mm. Indian. It was a good mix. I was like oh shit, and I see those videos and I go, what life path led you to be able to speak like this? Because <laughs> I try every day. But the, be- the best girl, well, not the best, but the one, uh, let me finish later. Okay, but go ahead. She was like, oh, I was born, I was raised here when I was like, my parents moved me here in elementary school. I'm like, you uh, fuck, uh, you cheating bitch! Yeah, okay. And the thing that actually pissed me off with the video, like, someone actually commented, like, you should have did interviews, with, like, of the other people and so they can explain why they got so good. Oh, right, right. But he was right. like, we were having audio problems. We actually did, but they had audio problems. So I was like, well, shit. Wow, that's embarrassing, though. But okay, okay, uh, let me get back to my main point. So, you know, she asks them questions, they all answer. Okay. And there was one question she asked. Yeah. And she was like, uh, who's your favorite music artist, right? Yeah. And, like, everyone answered very basic and stupid. Like, I think, like... I like the Beatles. No, no, no. Like, yeah. Japanese music. I was like, I like this Japanese uh. nursery rhyme. <laughs> It, it, it was pretty fucking, like, basic. And then actually the one one guy, the one black guy, yeah. he was like, oh, I like uh, TM Revolution. Okay. That's a group. Yeah, like a Japanese music group. And then the Japanese like, ah, oh, you know them. I like them too. He was like, yeah, they got a cool, uh, popular singer. And she said, well, what's the the singer's name? Oh, and so she said, like, the you know the popular singer? He has a nickname, right? He's like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And she's like, do you know it? He's like, uh, like maybe like Nishikun. She's like, yeah, you know Nishikun. Yeah. So then, like, they have to do the elimination, and she okay. says, "This is the cool part. No one's like Japanese like pronunciation. She can't know the difference. Oh, okay. She's like, damn, they're all good. Yeah. But she's like, but, uh, you knew you. It felt like you knew too much. Ah. Uh... So I think you're not Japanese because you knew too much. Okay. And well, hold on. There's more to the story. Now, at first, I was like, yeah, yeah, that's right. Because, like, I was thinking, like, um, if, like, if the reverse was with us, mm-hmm. I was like, uh, who's your favorite president? People are like, okay, uh, Obama, George Washington, Abraham yeah. Lincoln. But yeah. then if one person goes, well, actually, there was a, a 32nd president named James Ordwell. I think he, like, really stabilized the economy. I'd be like, get this motherfucker yeah. out of here. <laughs> Get this motherfucker out of here! Tip a canoe and Tyler too. <laughs> but then, so I was like, okay, that made sense. Okay. So then, like, I woke up from work one next day. I was taking a shower. I'm like, I'm sleepy. Fucking God! Ah, the water's hot! Now it's too cold. Now it's too hot! Now it's too cold. <laughs> and then I was like, wait a fucking minute. Yeah. I stopped. I was like, wait a minute. I did the president example. Okay. But music uh, is not an example. Yeah. I was like, I fooled myself. So hold on. Let's go back. Yeah. If I went to you and I said, um, if we're talking, all right, let's talk American music. Yeah. Uh, um, What's Slash's real name? Yeah, I'm, I'm in the music. Oh, you, I, I'm in the rock music. Okay. Uh, I like, what, what's the band from Slash called? Guns N' Roses. I like Guns N' Roses. All right. They, uh, they got the cool drummer Slash. Guitarist. Guitar, guitarist. I'm at the then I'd be like, okay, it's nice. <laughs> you know Slash's real name? What's his real name? It's very Jewish, I think. Saul something? That one's too hard. Let's, let's go easier. Okay, uh, let's do, uh, from Guns N' Roses, Axl Rose. No, no, no. Let's go even even simpler. But I know it. I know, I know. I know, I know. I know. It's Bill Bailey. It's Bill, it's Bill Bailey. If your name was Bill Bailey, you, you're telling me you wouldn't change it to Axl Rose? <laughs> yeah. Let's let's go even more basic. Like, ah, uh, um... Uh... Okay, ah, er, Usher. Everyone knows Usher. Ah, oh, you know that R&B artist, Usher? Oh, yeah, he's so sexy. 
Do you know his like real name? Ah, maybe it's Raymond. If I'm if I'm if you know Usher music, yeah. And his name Raymond. That said a lot. Okay. Huh? You know too much. Right. No, wait, okay. No. What? No, I don't. Right. Okay. This is music we're talking about. Right. 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 How the fuck do you? And you knew. Hold on. You knew the name too. too. Right. Exactly. So. We, <laughs> What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that that's uh, yeah. So then this actually brought me back to a, a thing we actually talk we talk about this a lot. Mm. I didn't know this was between Japanese people too, but if you ask it I I thought like I said this. Yeah. It wasn't that he knew too much. Mm -hmm. It wasn't that he liked the band. It's because I don't I like I don't like using the word Japanese people, but they don't talk in depth about mm. I thought it was just to us. But maybe with each other. Uh, they do not talk in depth about music. <laughs> uh, other people like, oh, I like this anime. Oh, I like this. Oh, I like this band. Oh, yeah, I like this song. Oh, yeah, I like the, the singer. His name is this. She's like, hold on, hold on. Yeah, yeah that makes we sense. We don't talk in depth about this shit. Yeah. You'll barely get a Japanese person to say what Japanese song you like. Mm-hmm. Damn sure will tell me how much he likes... Are you following me? I know that's a long story. No, I, I get you. You're like, uh, see, I guess what you thought was with us, they don't like at school or whatever. We'll say, who do you like? BTS. Yeah. But that's them to them as well. Mm -hmm. That's where you're getting at. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay. It's like, wait, what? Like, I was like, wait, that wasn't an excuse to know. Like, you're not Jack. Like, yeah, you know too much. I know this one band's name that I like. It was yes. Yeah. What? That, that's a. Mm. That, I can see you say, "Who's the prime?" Like, I fool myself like, "Oh, well, who's the president?" This. Yeah. yeah you're not American. Who's this songwriter? Yeah. Oh, him. You know too much. Huh. That is an interesting one song person. Yeah. I know too much. But yeah, but with me, if it's music, I could just go on for days nonstop about. Anyone's name, anyone's song, anyone's co anything. But yeah, I guess they wouldn't talk like that. I don't know. It was such a weird thing. I, it was such a weird revelation. I was like, wait, what? Yeah. That didn't make any sense. Mm. You gotta push him. <laughs> uh, <sighs> Very interesting. Then she made a mistake. She didn't choose the actual Japanese guy. Because I well, I had to I might have to watch the video. So again. I have a chance? <laughs> Please, I'm Japanese. Cause uh she said something like, Oh, you know Kansai Ben? Can you say something? Let me hear you speak like try your impression. Oh yeah, because she was asking it was like the These are stupid questions. It was the white girl that was not born in Japan but raised in it. Yeah. And then the actual Japanese guy. Oh, okay. I think earlier she established, like, oh, where were you born and raised? Yeah. And, and no one said Osaka. She said, oh, well, you know, uh, you know, we all have a, we all know about Osaka, Ben. Yeah. Just give me your impression. Like, try to do, a, a, uh, try uh, to do an Osaka, Ben accent. Ah, uh, okay. And this is when my, my memory gets fuzzy. I know my memory. <laughs> but I think, I'm, I think the white girl might have made an impression. But the Japanese guy was like, I, I don't know, really. I, I don't know how to do it. Uh, not dying in. I don't know. I don't really do impressions. Oh, okay. And so I guess she chose the girl off of that. But I, I was also like, you know what? But if someone... Mm. That could that guy could be a, a trick card. I'll be like... He might mm. be like a real Japanese person. Like, I don't fucking feel like doing no J Osaka impression. We, so I, yeah. So I was like, mmm. That could have that went either way. Yeah, I mean... That doesn't mean anything. You're an American, right? Well, uh, what Schwarzenegger's not an American, but American movies. You're an American doing Arnold Schwarzenegger impression. Uh, da, da, uh, get to the helicopter. I don't know. Uh, let's do even. Let's go even better. Yeah. Do a Texas impression, like a Southern. Yeah. Hey, but we we will all joke around. But if you said like really try to sound like a Southerner, like what? H howdy y'all. Hey hey hun. What the fuck do you want from me? From Toy Story? Howdy, 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 howdy. howdy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, you couldn't actually do it. Mm -hmm. Or do... 
Do a New Orleans accent. Hey, what the fuck? What? Uh, you know, they're, they're, they're known to speak really a certain way in New Orleans. Like, I don't... What? Yeah, I, I guess. Fish and chips? What What the fuck do you want from me? Creole? That's Maybe he's not American. What? Yeah, these are all stupid questions. Mm. Very, yeah. mm. It's very interesting. I would do... Let's, let's flip it. So I'm the girl... Or I'm, I guess, the guy in this situation. I have to guess who's an American in a crowd of people. Okay, okay. This is how I would do it. All right, first question. Okay, yeah. What country are you from? <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm from uh, Korea. Not you! <laughs> wait, 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 why would they say that? They're, they're trying to trick you. They can't lie. <laughs> no, they're trying to trick you. They have to lie. Oh. Then I guess I couldn't do it. <laughs> this is a stupid exercise. I'm not doing it. <laughs> I'm not doing. I'm not doing this one, sir. You already signed the contract. Nah, I'm out. <laughs> just, just ask, just ask the questions. <sighs> Do you drink tea or coffee? <laughs> yeah. Do, which, which do you prefer, bread or rice? Well, you know, back in my hometown of Maine, we drank coffee. Is that true? I see. I don't know that. I don't know. Do Mainians? Drink coffee? Drink well, you're in, you're in the game now, Chris. Second question. Go on. Second question. Uh, I already asked about the rice. Right? Um, Are you American? What's the second question? How late is Taco Bell open? Hmm? Oh, man. That is... Oh, you know what? No, I went... To... No, this will get him. This will get him. What is fourth meal? Fourth meal. Do you remember those Taco Bell commercials that were like, fourth meal? Ooh. It was basically... For stoners to get high and they're like, oh, it's 2 a.m., let me go to Taco Bell. Like, oh, I don't, I, don't, I don't know that. Really? Damn it, I gotta look up. I can't find this pink dot. I gotta look up fourth meal. I mean, I just go like, after a night of Drake and then when you're driving home under the influence, which you should not do, <laughs> you should not do. But, you know, you gotta get fucking home. And I ain't driving, he told me I'll do that. You know what's open, Oh, uh, what was the pain? I hop. You get twenty tacos for for what four dollars? <laughs> yeah, talking about fourth meal dot com. Oh, dot com. They made it dot com. I have never heard this. This is fourth meal. Wait, was this where I was supposed to go? I don't think so. Let me let me leave. Talk about two guys close, two guys close. <laughs> I want those back to back. That scream, ah. ah, you don't know the famous screams. What's the most famous scream in all of America? Please stop. I have children. Wrong, it was Marilyn Monroe getting her pussy pounded by John F. Kennedy and his brother. I do declare this is the tightest snatch ever. It makes me want to have... It's blowing my head off. <laughs> Merrily, you hear me? It's blowing my head off. I just picture him in the back of that... Cadillac? <laughs> I don't know what the hell he was in. I was trying to think of a... Uh, low rider. <laughs> <laughs> With a <the> bouncing <laughs> up and down. <laughs> just going... Oh, Marilyn's fucking pussy. That pussy was mind-blowing. <laughs> Boom! Ah! The president's been shot! And he goes in front of Peter at the pearly gates. He's like, that, that pussy was mind-blowing? That's what you were thinking about before you got killed? <laughs> Listen, you'll meet her soon enough. She's a fucking dime. <laughs> I get first dibs when she dies. Bring her back to me. Bring her back to me. Hold on. Does that guy kind of look like Vince McMahon with glasses on? <laughs> we got Vince McMahon on the brain. Oh, we got Vince McMahon on the brain. that Japanese Vince McMahon? Uh, he has some some features. I think it's his hair. It's Yay. like up in his suit. Uh, okay. What you got? What you got, Chris? <laughs> this is a little comedy for you. Oh. Sorry. 
Used to teach nine classes on Saturday. Real rough, real rough. Rough riders! <laughs> now it's eight. Ooh. Which is just so much different. That, that one class well, makes a difference. And the funny thing is, I... I Here's how hard of a worker I am, and I don't get any credit, because Japanese people just see us as scum all the time. I did a year's worth of, like, preparation what? in, like, half a year, so I have nothing to do now. Oh, damn, really? The guy before me was just like, I can't do anything because I'm by myself. So, so why don't you prep the classes then? Prep the classes. So, Okay. So, I'm just sitting there, just like, I don't got anything to do, but I'm just going to sit here, because I'm tired of pretending to look like I'm working. Mm. I've already worked a year's worth already. Sometimes pretending to work is worse than... I know, uh, it's a lot, and the other guy took my computer, so I can't fake it. Wait, what, he, he took your computer? The, in the classroom, the other foreign teacher. Oh, like, so, so I it. So, I can't pretend to be looking at CNN.com. Right, right. Uh, okay. So the coworker, the Japanese guy, is just on his cell phone, and I'm just like, you fucking asshole. Right. I teach eight classes, you're literally just fucking off. And he goes, yeah, I'm thinking about adding another class to your Saturday schedule <laughs> next year. It seems like you're not busy now. I'm like, what the <laughs> Come on! <laughs> He's like, and here's my problem. The little kids' classes are the easiest to teach, but they take so much energy out right, of you. Right, right. The elementary school kids are harder to teach because they're fucking annoying. But you can just sit there if you want. Mm. So that would mean I would teach one 80 minutes little kids class, followed by a 40 minutes little kids class, followed by a new 40 minutes kids class after my lunch break, followed by getting kicked by penguin feet. Followed by another one where the parents are in the class because they're too young to be by themselves. Mm. And one girl who just has an attitude. I wanted to bring this up, but... Like, she's probably two years old. Mm. Last week, we're Already doing some... A bitch. Yeah. Last week, we're doing the class, and she goes... Hey! Oh. And I'm like, Bitch. the mom is pretty good, so I'm like, okay, whatever. And I basically just got to run the clock out on these three girls. Right. They're all three different, and they're all three a handful. <laughs> and th so I'm basically doing a thing where I hold up a card, and they touch a picture in a book. Mm -hmm. And she's like, this is embarrassing. I'm like, you're fucking two years old. Fuck Wait, off. she said this? Yeah. yeah. She's like, yeah, she can, I guess she can She's talk. like. In Japanese, she's like, Hazukashi yo! And I'm like, oh my god, if your mom was here. <laughs> First of all, fuck off. You can't even draw Moana. You have to force your dad to draw it for you. Oh, Chris! It's really weird. The beginning of the year, she was really trying, and then just out of nowhere, she's just like, I don't want to do anything. It's like, mm. what the fuck is going on? But, okay. So th picture that. One 80-minute class, followed by a 40-minute class, followed by a lunch break, followed by another 40-minute class, followed by a directly another 40-minute class, then a another class of elementary school students, then a one with the kids, with the parents in the class. For I'm like, I can't do... Uh, I don't think you're working hard enough, Chris. I don't I, and he's on his fucking cell phone like, yeah, but, but, but I'm just texting other teachers right now. I'm texting them. Actually, I'm, I'm going to add another class for you. And then I I was just like, I'm at a loss for words. <laughs> I'm like, what do I say to this? So I was just like, I'm not going to talk. And then he goes, I know that's a lot of work to ask someone to do. Yes, it is. <laughs> and he's like, yeah, if you don't think uh, you can do that, maybe, I mean, we just won't even do it then. Why should you even bring it up? Don't man? bring it up. What am I supposed to say to that? Hell yeah! <laughs> Fuck yeah, man. Fuck. <laughs> I love getting kicked by penguins. <laughs> Jesus. What the fuck more do you want out of me, man? <laughs> These glasses are can get rough depending on who's in them. 
But I like how, like, so you didn't respond at I all. I just didn't, and he, he was, he, like, he, I guess he could read the air. He was just. Oh, like, so Japanese people can read oh. the air. Oh. <laughs> what am I supposed to say that? Yeah, I'm, and here, but I know what he's doing. There's eight students maximum per class. Uh-huh. So sometimes when you have students fumbled around throughout the week, it can get a lot of students at one time. Mm. So he's basically going, well, if I add a class here, then that's like more students that can come. And, mm. But like, that's too much. <laughs> that's too much, man. Right? We had more students. I get a raise. How about the teacher? He don't get shit. He ain't getting shit. Or like with our with our speech lessons, the parents have to pay money for lessons with the teacher. Oh, this money goes to us? <laughs> no, the company gets it. So why are they paying at all? Oh, they're getting like five lessons from the teacher. Well, I'm a salaried worker, so that doesn't mean shit. <laughs> I'm already here. They don't have to pay any money then. Oh, that Joker's really kicking you. You did. Okay. Let's see what else. I have no clue what our missions are in this. Uh. I hate handwritten Japanese. It's always illegible. <laughs> like I have really bad handwriting that I can't even read. It's just scribbles. My dad has bad handwriting, too. But Japanese fucking kanji, or even hiragana. I'm looking at, it's like, row, and I'm like... Row, row, fight, oh. And I'm like typing into my Google Translate, I'm like, this isn't a word. (laughs) And then I'm like, that's chi? Yeah. It looked like this, but it was like a really bad chi. Mm. So it looks like, I'm like, what the fuck, man? I can't read, like, writ, uh... Must be a foreigner thing. No! The police officer I taught, he did a diary where he wrote things in English and Japanese. Sometimes I'm like, I don't know what the hell he's... What the fuck? I don't know. That's him drawing the chalk lines on the baseball field. <laughs> oh, is that... Maybe that's, a, oh, that's what expired is. Oh. So... Then I would have to ask the Japanese teacher, I'm like, what did he write in Japanese so I know what he means in English? He's like, I can't read this at all. It's like, what? (laughs) But Japanese online, very easy, very distinct characters. But handwritten is impossible. Especially on a fucking... Blackboard at a restaurant. Oh. And the Japanese step. Can you read this? No, I can't. <laughs> can you write it more legibly? <laughs> no one can read this. No shit. one can read this. They know what food they eat. So they can kind of guess. Or if they fuck up, the Japanese staff just goes, Oh, you mean this. Right, right. But for us, they're just like, I guess you don't know how to read Japanese. <laughs> no. That's not how it works. 